A day of protest in St. Louis and across the country over the killing of George Floyd in Minneapolis. What do we want? Justice! When do we want it? Now! What do we want? Justice! When do we want it? Now! Just a short time ago, protesters shut down part of Forest Park Parkway as they marched from Clayton to the Del Mar Loop. And they're not done marching. We want to get you a live look at this right now for Powerhouse Sky Zoom 4. This is again above those protests. They're right now at Forest Park Parkway and Skinker. You can see thousands of people have spilled into the intersection, blocking off traffic. It looks like in all four directions of the intersection. Also looks like there's a car of some kind in the middle of the crowd well, there. You can see thousands of people clearing into this intersection here. Protesters again uh, upset about the deadly uh, killing of George Floyd there. We do want to thank you for joining us this evening. I'm Samantha Jones and I'm Corey Stark. The protest began several hours ago in Clayton and a large group of demonstrators made their way as we mentioned along Forest Park Parkway shutting down all lanes of traffic as we showed you they continue to do. This scene was from Powerhouse Sky Zoom 4 as they marched near Washington University. We do have live team coverage for you tonight. News 4's Ashley Lincoln and Chris Nagus have been following the protest route. We begin with Ashley. You've been speaking to protesters out there. That's right, Samantha and Corey. Very passionate and emotional out here. I want our viewers to take a look. They still have Forest Parkway and Skinker shut down. We've been seeing this all afternoon. It's been very peaceful and very organized. I can tell you that it seems like the organizers did work with law enforcement as soon as they've been moving to one intersection. Intersection law enforcement, they have been shutting down secondary streets to make sure none, no traffic impedes them. And we also see when they do stop, there are other secondary protesters. It seems as if they're protecting the crew so that they can do their chants in unison. Now, we did speak with some of the demonstrators out here as to why this is so important for them to come out with what they had to say. It's not going to change until people are willing to come out here and make it change that every other form of protest, inaction, or other activism has failed up until this point. How did it get to this? But it's always been this way, and that it's just uh, we've reached the peak of the inhumanity that people are willing to deal with. I'm very happy to see that there are more than just black people out here because they won't listen to us. Now that you're here, that you do something to make sure that there is change. We don't need to have any more meetings. Any more data, let's make this change. You know, we keep coming back out for these marches. We, uh, and, and, and I don't want anybody t coming to me, talking to me about Dr. King and being peaceful. And I don't want to hear about the violence and the looting because this is about anger, about being killed. You know, mm -hmm. I have to, uh, why, do, why do our sons have to live differently? You know, this is mean says that black women pray differently. That's, I'm, I'm angry, but I'm, 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 now that all these people are out here, let's make this change. Now organizers tell us that they do want things to remain peaceful. It does look as if they have broken up the protests so far for the evening right now in this area. Now we do know there are other scheduled protests later on tonight, but it's still a big crowd here, here at the Forest Park and Skinker intersection. So they're going to be here for a while. Not a lot of traffic nearby, but again, everyone, everybody wants to get this message out and they want to get it out peacefully. A lot of people told us they don't want to see what we've been seeing in other cities when we have the riots and the violence. No incidents this afternoon, but we, of course, we're going to stay here and we're going to stay here throughout the evening to give you the latest updates on these protests as they happen. For now, reporting live, Ashley Lincoln, News 4. Ashley, thank you. News 4's Chris Nagus is also on the move this evening with the protesters. Chris, where are you right now? And All right, Corey, uh, I heard part of what you just said there to me. It's a little bit loud out here. We're not too far from where my colleague Ashley Lincoln is. We are at the corner of Forest Park Parkway and Skinker. And right now, this protest, this demonstration seems to be wrapping up. And I heard them tell the crowd that they're going to regroup. And it sounds like they're headed to Ferguson after this. I can tell you, we have walked several miles collectively. We have followed this group as they made their way from Clayton to University City, now out here towards Washington University. Spoken to a lot of people out here. Everything today has been peaceful. I've seen people handing out water and snacks to people in the crowd. Uh, there have been no issues out here at all here in uh, 
in the Washington University area. Now, earlier today, we heard from Congressman Lacey Clay. He says what's happening here in St. Louis and around the country is one of the most important issues happening nationwide today. Here's what he had to say. It was obvious, it was on videotape, that the world witnessed a murder of an innocent black man. And it's time that white America figure out how are we going to progress as a country. Those are the words of Congressman Lacey Clay earlier today. Again, this has been going on for three hours. This movement is now wrapping up for this part of the evening, but it's my understanding from hearing some from some of the speakers out here that they are now headed to Ferguson. And of course, we will continue to cover these demonstrations and these protests throughout the evening here on News 4. Reporting live, Chris Nagus, News 4. And Chris, from talking with people out there, did you get an indication that most of them are in for the long haul tonight of going to Ferguson? Is that a majority of the crowd? Corey, that's a really good question. Um, we've spoken to some people who definitely plan to go to Ferguson, others who are just out here uh, to march during the daytime. Some of them brought their children out. Uh, and again, this has already been going on for three hours, and many of these people collectively have walked several miles, and the protest will go, and then it will stop. It will occupy an intersection where they will shut it down to traffic in both directions for a while, and then the crowd will start to go uh, and start to move to another intersection. Okay, hi, how are you? All right, people talking to me out here as they're on the move right now. But uh, again, I would expect that some of the people that are here will head to Ferguson. Others might be going home for now. All right, Chris Nagus, thank you very much. Earlier today, a smaller group of protesters gathered in downtown St. Louis at the City Justice Center. This event was part of a national day of protest in coordination with other protests in dozens of cities across the country. Injustice anywhere is a threat to justice everywhere, and we know that to be a fact. So it's important for us to stand in solidarity with the people who have stood in solidarity with Missouri and Ferguson 